Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about crop safener. Well, you know, most of the products that we're using to control weeds or bugs or diseases are really safe to the crop. But there are some products that could be even more detrimental to the pest that's out in the field if they weren't a little bit hard on the crop. So it makes sense that there should be some products that we could mix with them to make them safer. But actually, crop safener started as an accident a number of years back. Uh, there was a product that was used... 1947, I believe, Darren. Well, I, I don't remember quite that far back, Brian. Maybe the gray hair is coming yeah, in. something like that. <laughs> and really, it was an accidental discovery. And for a lot of farmers, they find the same thing. They maybe mix some 2,4-D in with something else. And wow, it works great when I mix 2,4-D with it. When I spray that product straight, I see some injury on the crop. Yeah, so with crop safeners, there are a number of different ones out there. One, for example, would be Binoxicore that got mixed with Dual, so there is regular Dual, and then there is Dual 2, which has the Binoxicore in there, and that Binoxicore basically safens the chemicals so that it does not injure the corn plant. Not that Dual probably would injure well, it very it, often anyway. It's but, really important in ground like this. We're on some really sandy, low right. cation exchange capacity soil. And when you've got sandy soil like that, and all of a sudden you get a nice rain after you've applied that herbicide, it could all get pushed into that root system in one shot. And that could just be too much dual coming out of corn plant all at once, and we can have some issues. Now, if you had heavy clay soil with a lot of organic matter, where it ties some of that dual up and slows down the entry into the plant, no problem. But when it comes fast, it can be. That's where the binoxicore comes in very handy in dual. So anyway, there are a lot of these crop safeners that end up getting developed and put in with products that were out on the market for maybe even a few years. I can just think of a couple off the top of my head, like Everest, for example, was it would have some leaf burn on wheat. Well, now they've developed a crop safener to go with the Everest, so you can spray Everest plus the crop safener over the top of the wheat, and it doesn't burn the wheat anymore. That's a great thing. And when you think about the crop safeners, not to get into a chemistry lesson because frankly I'm not that smart but just kind of basically how they work here. is they either inhibit that product moving into the plant or when it's going into the plant they degrade that product a little bit so it's not quite as strong or as harsh a crop safener could also change some chemical processes within the plant so that plant can digest that product yeah as but well. see it makes it difficult because we want it to be safe on the crop, but we want it to be as lethal as possible on the weed. So how can they make something safe on the crop not affect anything in terms of weed control? Well, it depends on the type of selectivity you need. Now, if we're talking about killing broadleaf weeds in a grass crop, it's really no big deal because grasses and broadleafs have so much difference. It's when you get a grass crop in with a grass weed that things can be tough. Like for example, say that you're trying to control wild sunflowers in a sunflower crop. Now, there's probably not a lot of difference there between a wild sunflower and a sunflower that you're just planting. So if you get in a situation like that, it gets to be a pretty tough situation. <laughs> well, that's an almost impossible situation. But anyway, with these crop safeners, the, the main thing just, just to understand is there are a lot of pesticides that are in development and they end up being great in terms of weed control but a little harsh on the crop well by adding a crop safener it can still be harsh in terms of weed control or really good in terms of weed control but much easier on the crop well fortunately our weed of the week is not one of those weeds that we have that much trouble needing a safener we'll show you what will control this weed later in the show